today the topic of discussion is in array address calculation we'll understand how to calculate address of two dimensional address calculation that is we'll study how to calculate address in two dimension so prior to this we have understood how to calculate address of one dimension so if you are directly coming and watching this video i request you to kindly watch the video which is calculating the address of one dimension array let's start with two dimension so two dimension array address calculation so what is 2d 2d can be defined as an array of array or 2d array is organized in matrix so whenever you have seen the matrix so this is kind of matrix here you have two rows three columns that is two rows three columns fine okay which can be represented as collection of rows and columns so you have two rows one zero one and three columns zero one and two fine okay how to declare 2d array so you declare 2d array something like that a five six this is what five row and six column and data type is int so data type of this array is integer and you know and uh, it is represented something like that this is row and this is column fine okay now i show you the picture you see the picture so here you have n cross n matrix n cross n matrix so the starting row will be zero and last row will be n minus one starting column will be zero last column will be n minus one the first element will be a zero zero then zero row first column zero row second column zero row n minus one column similarly a n minus one row zero column a n minus one row first column a n minus a row uh, second column a n minus one row and a n minus one column so this is what a uh, matrix is all about now let's see uh two dimension array uh address calculation and how it is a store there are two major technique of storing 2d array so if you are thinking suppose you have a uh, array like this if you are thinking that in a memory we store something in a square shape or rectangular shape it's totally wrong it's nothing like that we store either row wise or column wise so if we store row wise this is called row major order so what is row major order if you see the row you have row 0001 Zero two one zero one 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 two and two zero two one two two. This these are indexes. So you see, so this is what zero 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 one zero two. This is row one. This is row one. What is this? This is row two. Row two. And what is this? This is row three. So we never store array in a rectangular or uh, you know. Uh, square fashion we store always in a linear fashion like 1d array so either row wise or column wise so this is called row major order fine so if we see uh, a matrix then if we are storing elements something like this first these then these then these and then these element so this is how we are uh, using a row major order fine okay so now the formula the address of any element of 2d array having dimension m cross n so always there is a dimension that is suppose a matrix is 5 cross 4 so this is m and this is n using which formula row major order calculated using the formula so this is the formula and i'll make you you know i'll definitely try that you always remember you will never forget the formula let's see the formula what is formula location of a j k what is a j k suppose you have a matrix 25 cross 4 fine and you want address of something 13 and 6 so, uh, 6 cannot be possible because this is 4 so suppose you want 13 and 2 address address of some 13 and 2 so this is j and this is k that is the index which you are looking for fine okay so address of a j k that is j and k which indexes you want then address formula is base a plus w Till here the formula is same of one dimension then you put j minus 1 plus k minus 1 you simply put j minus 1 plus k minus 1 what is j row what is k column and what is this row major order so in row major order this is row you multiply row you multiply row with column what is matrix m cross n what is column what is column this is column so you multiply row with column you multiply row that is j minus 1 with column column of given matrix this is n whatever it is 4 5 whatever so you that is that is you want to do so here what is ba base address what is w w you know word length or byte j and k are index whose address needs to be calculated and what is n column of a given matrix no now if you are still confused i'll, I'll give you the example no you see the example you have a question so here you have given a 25 cross 4 matrix so what is uh, m 25 what is n 4 matrix let base address you have given 200 w you have given 4 suppose two dimension array is stored using you have to always remember which order row major order then you have to calculate a 12 3 that is 12 j is 12 and k is 3 now put in the formula you have a formula 
I have just told you the formula that is location of A J K is base A plus W into put J minus one K minus one because it is row major order. So multiply row with column. What is column N? Fine. So now put location of A. What you want to calculate? Twelve comma three. Fine. So this is J. This is K. Base A. What is base A? Two hundred. What is W? Four. What is N? N is four. Four into what is J? Twelve. Twelve minus one. What is K? What is k three three minus one? Now put and solve two hundred two hundred. Okay, so you have put two hundred fine. Then four and then twelve uh, minus one is eleven. Uh, eleven into four forty four plus two. This will become forty six and this is two hundred. Then four and then this forty six. Forty six will into four is one eighty four. If I am not wrong, this is one eighty four. Six four is twenty four. Yeah, one eighty four. Then this is three eighty four. Finally, you get the answer three eighty four. So address of a twelve. Address of a twelve comma three is what is three eighty four? Where base address was two hundred and for twelve three you get the address three eighty four. Fine. So hope you have understood how to calculate this uh, what uh, address using row major order. Let's discuss. Uh, this was row major order. Let's discuss column major order. So second method is column major order. Similarly, you have a matrix. What are columns? These. These, these. So when you store data in a column fashion, that is zero zero one zero 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 one zero two zero. So this is column one. This is column two. This is column three. So when you store data in a column wise, this is called column major order. This is to you know very well. That is when you store this first. Then this and then this. This is called column major order. Fine. Okay. Now address of any element of 2D array having m cross n. Uh, no, having dimension m cross s using column major order calculated using formula. So address of any element. Suppose you want to calculate the address of any element. Element. Of 2D array having you know dimension m cross n, but now you have column major order. Then again the formula is exactly same. For A J K, that is what I have already told you. B base address plus W into you put J minus one K minus one. Similarly, similarly in row major order you put do same thing in column major order. But the change will be because this is the column major order. So you multiply column. With row, what is row? This is row, na. No? This is row, and this is column. So this is this is the only change which you are making now. This is the only change which you are making now. So this is row major order. This is column major order. So where? So you have a base address. Fine. So we have B A is base address. W is what? Uh, word length. J K R index. And M is row of gain matrix. Fine. So I've tried my level best to explain you this also. What? How to calculate address using column major order? So at last I'll say what? You have a question now. You have to solve this using column major order, using just now column major order, and you have a formula uh, figure like this, and you have a formula. I am not going to solve this question now. You have to make a comment to me that what is the answer, 